Okay, I wanted to quickly show you my little Arduino project I'm working on. Um, it's in the infancy here, but uh, I just started on the Arduino a few weeks ago, and I, I really love it. I don't now. Um, one th useful thing that I wanted at home, or I thought would be useful, is I was looking online and I found something on Amazon for $200. It was called an air quality sensor. Well, that made me curious, so I went and typed in, how does an air quality sensor work? So, I was able to actually pull up these sensors that is made by, I guess, a Chinese company, Seed, S-E-E-E-D, it, and um, they make all these sensors, and this this... This product here, this this little board, is called Grove, and they make this these little sensors, and they plug right in um, these little connectors. So it's a little different. It's a little addition to the Arduino. So I got two sensors. I got one called a quote air quality sensor, and then I got this HCHO sensor, which is primarily formaldehyde. It detects other gases too. Now, the air quality sensor just gives you a, an arbitrary number based on how many, quote, contaminants you have in your air. And it looks for certain gases, formaldehyde, alcohol, things like that as well. Um, this sensor here, the HCHO sensor, is a little different. It's got a little pot on there, a little trim pot, and you can actually calibrate it, um, which I have to do, which is quite a involved process. And if I do that, I will show you how I do this. So you need a fixed volume. For example, a uh, 10 by 10 by 10, uh, 10 inch by 10 inch by 10 inch box, and then you want to put alcohol in there and let it evaporate. You, need, you want to put a certain amount of alcohol in there and let it evaporate, and you want to calculate what parts per million that's going to get to, and then you want to set this, this sensor until it reads what parts per million that you have um, calculated. Or you could take a known good air quality sensor and compare the two, but I don't have that. So that's, that's what I was planning on doing. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm using this air quality sensor. And it's just warming up right now, and, and this number's continually going down. So what I intend to do is I'm going to stick it outside on my porch and let it sit out there for an hour or two. And get what baseline is. You know, get, get what that number is. And then I'm going to set that as, quote, fresh air. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to bring it inside, see what it is, and that's going to be, you know, maybe slightly polluted. And then I'm going to set arbitrary numbers um, based on what I see. Now, yesterday, I turned this on, plugged it in, you know, after the sensor was warmed up, and then I took a little uh, rubbing alcohol, a cap of it, and I put it next to that. And that number there went up to, like, 500. So I'm going to con call that extremely contaminated air. Now, I don't have formaldehyde or anything like that. Um, so I can't use that, but I do have rubbing alcohol, so I just wanted to show you this. Um, this is kind of how it works. If you haven't used the Arduino, it's, it's actually pretty neat. Anybody can do electronics with this. It makes it easy. And for those of you that have training in electronics, like me, if you want to do home projects, it's so much easier. It requires less thought. You just write a little code for it to control that microprocessor or microcontroller that's under there. So... That's it. So, um, if I do things in the future, I'll, I'll, I'll show you and let you know. Okay, originally in the video I said I was going to leave this out here for a couple hours. Um, but it's been out here for like 5 or 10 minutes. It hovers from 27 to like maybe 18. So I'm going to set that as my baseline with an if statement. And I'm going to say if the variable that stores that number is under 27, then I'm going to call that fresh air. Okay, I don't know how to do a screen capture, or screen capture video, so I hope you can see this. So that top statement there says, if air read, which is the variable I set up to store that number that you saw, is equal to or less than 27, then it's going to LCD print fresh air. Now after bringing this inside, um, I've watched that number, it's sitting at my kitchen table and I've watched it go up to 48. Now I have no idea how polluted the inside air is in my house. So I'm going to call that mild pollution or indoor air up to 48. So I'm going to give it a range. Again I hope you can see this. So the next line there I said if air read is 
less than or equal to 50 and air read is greater than 27, mild contaminants is what I'm going to print on the LCD screen. Okay, so now this is completely arbitrary, but then I did else if, if air read, which is where I'm storing that number again, is greater than 50, bad indoor air is what I'm going to print. Okay, now I've got some rubbing alcohol. Yesterday I used pro, pro, isopropylene. So I'm going to pour this in the bowl. Um, let's pour it over here. And we'll see what happens. And I'll show you what it does when it gets close. So I'm pouring it in there. Well, that's way too much alcohol. I don't know why I poured that much in there. That was silly. Okay, so look at that. This is already going up to 143. And that's how close the bowl is. So it's very sensitive, 354. And that's just sitting there. And then it starts to go down because it starts starts to desensitize. And after a while, it will considerably go down. So that's 400, 200. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put the cap back on this. And I'm going to take this outside. And eventually, um, that will go back down. Okay, and a minute or two later, we're back back around what we measured baseline. Now, yesterday when I was experimenting, I found when I did that, when the baseline came back, it would be less than it was. So just be aware of that. So just be careful. Don't keep your, whatever you're using as your test contaminant, um, exposed to that sensor for too long. Okay, and I've completed the code. So I said, let's see, let's start up here again. If air read is greater than or equal to 50 and air read is less than or equal to 75, bad indoor air is what I'm going to print to the LCD. Then I said else if air read is greater than or equal to 76 and air read is less than or equal to 100, really bad air. Then I said else if air read is greater than 101, greater than or equal to 101, LCD print move to fresh air. So I'm going to I'm going to upload that code into here. And we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Okay, so I'm done coding this. So there's what it says, air quality. And then I printed that out, 35. It says mild contaminants. Got it running on a 9-volt battery, which comes with the Arduino kit. So I'm going to take it outside. Let's see what it says out there. And then we'll expose it to alcohol and see what that does. Okay, we're out back again, and I just set it on the table where the alcohol was, and it went up to 93. Right now it's 54. Okay, now I've got it out front of my house, um, and it looks like it's 27. It goes from 27 to 38. It says fresh air. Um, if I let it sit here for a while, I think it would just say fresh air. It keeps bouncing back and forth. That's really interesting. Because just setting this thing on the table that the alcohol, the bowl of alcohol was on, um, it read something like 80. So that was outside and after I removed the bowl. So this thing is super, super sensitive. So here we are at 27. I saw it go down to 25. It kind of bounces around for a little while. You have to let it sit for, I think they said three to five minutes before it stabilizes. See there it's 22. So just moving it to the front of my house. So that is really, it's really quite interesting. Okay, so now okay, now, so now we're going to do a little experiment. I've got this bowl of alcohol. Currently says 37. So I'm going to bring this bowl over here and just set it on the table. Now it's really windy here. We'll see what happens. 60. It went up to 60 that fast. It's kind of floating around. Remember, it's really, really windy out here. 60. See, it just went up to 144 just really quickly when I put that sensor above there. 262. That's how fast it responds. That's really amazing. 